Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another football video. Guys, this is all about what just some Jordan said. I think it's this morning as I'm recording this on Talk Sports. So let's get straight down to this. So guys, you know what to do with a big crop thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So, just in case you haven't picked it up, Simon Jordan, the ex Palace chairman, has said on TalkSport this morning, Brighton are in the right with this Kukurea situation. Now, this is my first opinion of this Kukurea situation since it started way back in May, I believe. May, June, something around there. But, I'm going to get to what Simon Jordan said. I'm going to leave my opinions on it, and then, obviously, I like your opinions on it in the comments below. So Cyber Jordan basically said, as I was just saying, Brighton are in the right to do what they're doing. They're holding the asset, which is Mark Cooker at this point. And basically, we all know Man City came with 40 million. Bright said, no, we hold out for 50. Fair enough. I don't mind if he leaves. This way it's handling it. And this, yeah, again, getting these down to Simon Jordan. Uh, what he said this morning. Simon Jordan said this morning, Basically, if you are you want to get a move, then, you know, fair enough, you can get a move, there's no problem with that. You know, it's up to you. The last thing you do, and this is where I've lost respect for the guy, I know some of you may not, I know some of you might be, you know, I'm over-exaggerating, but the way he's done it is out of this world, and we're talking more about that in this video. He hands in a transfer request and um, basically so as Jordan said you don't do that. You do not hand in a transfer request. Not after you just literally signed a five year contract last year. It's one of these things where maybe if you know if you, you wanna go then you know you can let the club know that you wanna leave, you know, you're ambitious the club's ambitious ain't good enough, which I think really is, you know, a bit disrespectful to Brighton and you know to us fans. It gets to me with Bright with Mark Cucurera, basically he's gone your ambition is not good enough. We finished ninth in the Premier League last season. Our best position in the Premier League era, our best points tally in the Premier League era, and yet our ambitions are not good enough. We're just six points, I believe, off European places. Six points. But apparently, yeah, our ambitions are not good enough. That's probably what some Jordan said this morning. I do believe there might be some truth in this, uh, some Jordan statement as well. You know, he basically goes on to say, you just signed the five year contract for the club last summer. If you're going to basically sign a five year contract, you're in it for the long term. Brian did sign it for £15 million uh, last summer as well. Now, with Mark Cucurea, what in the right mind gets you to say, I want to leave a year in? You know, being a club company, to you, OK, I know the temptation's there, but the last thing you do is go hand in your chance for a as far as I'm concerned, that's one thing, unless you desperately want to leave and you know what a sales plan is, because if you're going to hand in a transfer request, basically you stand in the stand and I want to leave, I don't want to pay for your club, which is fine, but there must be a move in there, and Man City must pay top dollar, which yet again Simon Jordan agrees with. Simon Jordan basically said, Brighton have got the right to hang out for that 50 million. Is he worth 50 million? Some of you can argue that, you know, down in the comments below, and I'll try to comment to as many as possible. But you really have got to think, what was Kukura thinking when he kicked that last ball? I believe it was against West Ham last season at home. When he goes, OK, I want to leave. Our ambitions are not good enough. Now, for me, from being a Brighton fan, I weren't actually at the Goldstone when we lost it. Um, even when we played our final game, it was only about three. Um, but, you know, talking to you guys on social media and all this kind of stuff, I get where the passion's coming from. And yes, I am so glad that then people all the way back then actually kept our club alive for me to go watch my local team play, which is now the MX Stadium. We really have got to, you know, hold out, which it looks like we're doing it. It looks like 50 million for Chelsea. Whether Mark Cucurra wants to go to Chelsea, don't really care, to be honest with you. He's, you know, he's basically disrespected the shirt, he's disrespected the badge, he's disrespectful to our coaching staff, he's disrespected, you know, us fans as well. You know, all the fans that get his name put on the back and all the charts we do for him. Presumably it's a slightly different situation before a lot of you shoot me down about Bazuma. 
I've just got to talk about Bazuma quickly and I'm going to put my opinions on the Mark Gugwara situation. Um, so Bazuma basically was coming to the end of his contract. Last summer he had, I think it's 30 million and 34 million from clubs, from the top clubs, well so called top clubs, whatever top clubs mean is now. Um, but you've still got to really have, you know, Bazuma, we weren't fair enough, you're thinking in his last year, so basically if wait until January, he would have been able to leave on a freebie. So basically we let him leave for 25 million, I believe it was, fair enough. Ain't got a problem with that, we knew we wanted to leave, but we didn't actually hear anything about transfer requests. We didn't go, hey Gaffer, I want to move, there's my transfer request. Didn't do nothing like that, we weren't happy, but we kept him. Uh, in January, and then we sold him this summer. Don't mind that, you know, if the player wants to leave, he wants to leave. Fine. Mark Kukurai is a bit of a different situation for where I'm standing. Mark Kukurai, for me, has just signed a five year contract. Let me say that again five years. He's basically done a year and gone to Brighton, uh, and yet again, that's what Simon Jordan said about. You know, your club's ambitions are not good enough. We bought him for 15 million from Gidaf in La Liga. We were the one club that gave him a chance to come and play in the Premier League. And this is the way he repays the club. And, you know, us fans. Basically saying, yeah, I don't want to play for your club. A bit like the Andone situation, I did a bank video about that as well when um, all that was happening. That'd be on my channel somewhere. Now, I will be headed to Old Trafford this weekend. If you of you may not agree with my opinions then you know you can put it down in the comments below. Fine with me. But Mark Kukurea cannot go in to an office with a four year contract still on him and go I want to leave. Transfer request there is. And yet we hold it up for top dollar and it looks like bollocks for him to be getting it. I think Trevor Sinclair said about 65 at me. The crash with add-ons, I don't know. But let's have a go get top dollar for my money again. But the way Mark Cooper has actually done this, I believe he's been so disrespectful from the club uh, to the club. I believe he's been so disrespectful to us fans. I believe he's doing so much of his own doing that if he is wearing that blue and white shirt, I can't see a lot of people being happy with it. I think the club needs to sell him, not only to base his own skin, but just to get him out. I'm, I'm literally done with this Mark Kukwara situation. As it's gone on for too long, City didn't want to pay 10 million. I can't go on arguing about that. You pay 50 million for Kevin Phillips. Mark Grant got an international cap. And Kevin, Kevin Phillips, uh, Kevin Phillips, Kevin Phillips, I think it's Kevin Phillips. From Leeds has, yeah, double with me. But I'm not, not the international cap as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, Lewis Dunk should be in there, but anyway, that's a different story, a different video. But yet again, Mark Kukurea. As I said, I will be at Old Trafford on Sunday. It's going to be a very interesting time. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I can't remember who it was. Espanol. He weren't in the friendly team, the whole team sheet at all. I don't think he's been in the United away team. I don't really want to see him put in a blue and white shirt again. And that's just my opinion. But yeah, again, we the same Glen Murray. I remember Glen Murray's story pretty well. Um, well, the way I took it. He went right and I think it was all with Bournemouth. And then Paddis bought him. And then we bought him back. Yeah, he had to prove himself for us like Jeremy and that again, and he did, so fair enough for him. But out of all the people that could have done this, it's the ex Palace chairman of Simon Jordan. Thank you, Simon. Get where we are coming from. We have to hold up the top dollar. But as I said, it looks like we're getting it. It's going to be a very interesting game, Old Trafford, this weekend. Will we see him in the blue and white shirt of Mark Procurea? Who knows, but I'd just like to say thank you Simon for sticking up for the club. Well, and funny enough, the club you won the rivals of. Can't disrespect both for doing that. He's actually stuck up for a rival club of his own back. 
thank you, thank you. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. Feel free to get your mark required ad cooker situation comments down in the description below. Season's not too far away, but taking you on the road everywhere we go. So, guys, anyway, you know what to do, guys. I love big truck, I want you to enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.